This is the <clears throat> ongoing story of the Lenovo ThinkPad S30, <clears throat> which had booting problems with Linux. Couldn't boot from a hard drive. <clears throat> this is the fourth day or the fifth day I've been at this. Still didn't quite fix it, but we're getting close. And <clears throat> I tried some different settings in the BIOS, and there was one that I hadn't tried before. So I thought, well, let's give that one a go. Unfortunately, that was not a clever idea because that actually broke the thing. It's called CSM, and CSM stands for Compatibility Support Module, something to do with compatibility for older boot devices, and it was enabled. So I thought, well, let's disable it, and um, the computer never worked again. It's actually corrupted the BIOS. All you get is a black screen when you switch it on, so of course now I have to reinstall the BIOS. I've done it a couple of times already this morning, and <clears throat> now I'm confident. Let's see if it works. What you have to do is you have to um, download the BIOS, obviously, and unzip it. And it's an image file, eight megabytes big, which you put in the root of a USB stick, FAT32 formatted USB stick, which I have put in here. It's that, where is it? Purple thing, which you can hardly see, with a button on it. <clears throat> it was a key fob originally. I cut that bit off. So. Um, all we have to do is just plug that into the machine and then set the jumper, which is located here. Normally it's on pins one and two. Actually it's there. You have to change it to pins two and three, which is CMOS reset. <clears throat> Power the machine up and then wait, and it should reinstall the BIOS. So let's see if it can do that. Let's switch on. There's the display of Motherboard checking codes on a good old seven segment display. Double beep. That means to me that it's in its uh, CMOS reset mode. Now I'm waiting for something to come up on the screen. Aha! There is life. Now before the USB stick was in there was a black screen. Now we have BIOS is recovering. That's a nice interesting version of English. And Firmware is being updated. Flash in progress. So it looks like it's working and the BIOS is being flashed with a version from the USB stick. So have confidence. This does work. This is actually the third time I've done this today because I broke it again twice. What I did was I um, went back to that CSM setting and instead of disabling it, I set it to auto. And that again bricked the machine and caused it to um, not display anything on power up. It's powered itself down, so hopefully it has uh, <clears throat> flashed the BIOS and will be ready to start again. All I have to do, of course, is remove the power connector for safety and also because there's some standby power on the main board. Also take out this <clears throat> USB stick, the one with the BIOS on it, and then I'm going to move the jumper back to positions one and two, the CMOS reset jumper. I'm not going to do that while I'm holding this camera. And then we'll see what happens next. So the what I wanted to show now was don't be afraid to flash the BIOS of your dead computer using a USB stick and the, the CMOS reset jumper. Let's see what happens next. So the flashing the BIOS was successful. The machine works again. I powered it up, gone into the BIOS, as usual, where I'm going to load the setup defaults. Maybe I can find that setting that was causing the problems in the startup menu. Quick boot, where is it? CSM support, that's the one. This CSM support is set to enabled, and if I change it to disabled and reboot, then it seems to corrupt the BIOS and the machine never works again. Also, if I set it to auto, same problem. So uh, I'm going to leave it set to enabled, which it is because I don't want to break this again and have to flash, flash the BIOS again. And seeing as a fresh BIOS, I'm going to load optimal defaults. Press enter. Do you want to load? Yes. And then I'm going to save the changes and exit. Yes. So that should restart the machine, load the optimal defaults, and I can change some settings to how I like them. 
and perhaps I'm going to stop playing with booting this machine <laughs> from a hard drive installed in it with Linux because it never seems to work. And I just use a hard drive from another machine and that works fine or Windows. So there we are. If you like these videos, don't forget to click like and subscribe.